less than a month ago to go before election day. Has that message changed at all in the last year? No, it really hasn't. It, honestly, it, it's one of accomplishment. When you look at what my father's done in 47 months, it's a thousand times more than what Joe Biden has done in 47 years. I mean, think about it. I do this all the time when I go to places, and I don't just speak to people who are, you know, MAGA-based like we may have up here. I go to college campuses. I, you know, I'll speak to people who are not just conservatives. So I say, you know, name a single Joe Biden accomplishment. Just one. Crickets. And if you can't, after half a century in Washington, D.C., doesn't that sort of tell you all you need to know? Donald Trump's pulling us out of endless wars. Donald Trump built the strongest economy America's ever known. Donald Trump renegotiated disastrous trade deals that sent our jobs abroad that Joe supported for decades. Donald Trump is getting peace deals done in the Middle East. Uh, this is a track record of accomplishment, but again, because we don't have the mainstream media sort of doing our boosting for us uh, like the Democrats get, we have to be out in front of the people, make sure they understand what's really going on. Kimberly, uh, Mr. Coronavirus, the president is full throttle with reopening. Has the president or your family, excuse the general, changed since your father's diagnosis? No, no, I mean, listen, we can, we can be responsible again. The people that surround him on a daily basis were tested and he could still get it. So I think that it shows that you, you can take reasonable precautions. So you may not prevent everything, but you can be reasonable without shutting down your business. I think your governor, Ron DeSantis, has done a wonderful job here. Florida doesn't have, it has a fraction of the cases of New York. He was able to do that without shutting down churches, without shutting down businesses permanently, without literally taking small businesses and destroying them many that will never come back. So I think if you look at the response in Florida, you look at the infection rate here relative to New York that took much more draconian measures, took your freedoms and your rights away so quickly and end up with a much worse medical scenario. Uh, I think this is a perfect case study of you can be responsible. You can take precaution without destroying your life and your business. You tweeted this morning in regards uh, to the debate. Yes. Uh, trusting a second moderator. Do you have reasons to believe that you actually shouldn't trust them, that they would give these questions to President Obama? Well, I think all you have to do is look at 2016, uh, right? Uh, Hillary was given the questions to one of the debates. Uh, the moderator of the second debate was someone who interned for Joe Biden. I mean, think about that for a second. So if you're not doing a live debate, am I to really trust that someone isn't giving Joe Biden flashcards with answers to questions he already knows are there? I don't trust that. I've seen the way the Democrats operate. I've seen what the operatives in that party do. This is not disputed. This actually happened four years ago. I think it would again, and that's why we want an in-person debate, and we'd like Joe Biden to show up to it. My last, my last question. Yeah, it's not out of the ordinary for the president or vice president to visit a disaster zone after a storm. 100 percent. Going to Louisiana after a yes. storm. Is there any intention to visit the hurricane affected areas from Sally, Northwest Florida? I don't know yet with my father's schedule. I, you know, I, I know he's he's all over the place. He's obviously in quarantine right now, but he's been very good about getting onto the ground. He's been very good about getting aid, especially in here when this happened, when you had your last sort of big one. Uh, you know, so I know it's been a real priority for him, and he's had a great working relationship with Ron DeSantis, your governor, uh, to deal with those issues to make sure that Floridians that were affected and other Americans in all of the affected areas were taken care of and so they can get back on their feet. So I know it's always uh, just been a really big priority to help those in need for him. Thank you.